The head gasket seals the valve plate to the cylinder head. Over time, the gasket can fail. This will cause air to leak from the head and prevent the compressor from pressurizing the tank. Replacing the head gasket is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. Before you begin any repairs on your air compressor, you'll want to be sure to drain the air from the tank. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the three screws that secure the pump head to the tank. Now remove the screws that secure the two halves of the pump housing. Now I'll remove the pump and motor assembly from the opposite housing. First I'll remove the grounding screw and the yellow wire. Now I can pull the assembly from the housing. On the opposite side of the motor, I'll remove the white wire. Now I'll remove the four screws that secure the head to the pump. With the valve plate removed, now I can replace the head gasket. I'll remove the old head gasket and install the new. Notice that the old gasket may be made of paper and the new one is graphite, and that's fine. Now I can reinstall the valve plate and gasket assembly. I'll thread it onto the screws, and that'll keep everything aligned. And now the head can go back onto the pump. Initially, I'll leave the screws just hand tight. Now I need to torque the head screws to 52 inch pounds. Now I can reinstall the motor and pump assembly into the housing. I'll reconnect the white wire as I slide the pump back into the housing I want to make sure that I align the isolators with the grooves in the housing. I also need to route the wires around the pump. Now I'll reconnect the yellow wire and the ground wire.
I'll make sure each of the wires are tucked out of the way so they won't rub against the fan or the armature. Now I can reinstall the other housing. I'll make sure the cord is aligned with the housing. And then I need to kind of shift the housing around until it aligns with the pump. There's an isolator on this back side that needs to fit into a pocket on the housing. Now I'll reinstall the screws that secure the two halves of the housing together. Now I'll re-secure the pump head to the tank. And now you know how to install a new head gasket on your air compressor. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.